Welcome back guys. So a new update for ROG LS Army Crate application is now available. First I'll install it on my ROG LS. After that I'll cover the update log. We'll be checking out the new features. Just click on Army Crate. This prompt should show up. A new update is available. You can update the app from here itself by clicking on update now. For the timing I'll just click on cancel. I hate this ad. Click on not now. In order to manually find the update just click on settings here. Then click on content. Then click on updates enter. Check for updates. There's the army grade update. Update available. Click on update here. Update now. Wait for the process to complete. Installation completed. Launch the application. Upon launching the app, the new update will get installed. It will take some time. Finally, we are in. Now I'll cover the update log. This is the update log available on LS Discord server. This update includes a few small enhancements and a quick access TDP slider. To adjust TDP on the fly, we need to put our ally in manual operating mode. Then we will be able to change the power values of SPL, SPPT and FPPT right from the command center. I'll just show you this. From here we can switch among the different operating modes, command center menu, silent profile, performance profile, turbo profile. There is the manual profile. Now we have access to these three sliders corresponding to SPL, SPPT and FVPT. I am really very happy that ASUS incorporated this change. Now we don't need to close the game in order to switch to a different manual power profile. We can change the power values right from the command center. Just move the slider. I prefer using the 25 watts manual profile. I just set all three power values at 25 watts. Once you are done changing the settings, just tap on apply. That's it. Asus also addressed the newly launched AFMF feature from AMD. It's basically the driver level implementation of frame generation. Asus is working on a new GPU driver in order to officially bring AFMF to ROG Ally, but this can take some time. The driver still requires some testing on their end, and then they will wait for certification from AMD before releasing the driver to the public. Next, we have some quality of life changes. Users can now assign the gyro enable feature to multiple buttons. A never show again option has been added to the campaign pop-up. This pop-up was really very annoying. Good to see that we can disable it now. New game profiles will have their operating mode set to unassigned to prevent conflicts when changing the global operating mode through command center. I'll quickly demonstrate the gyro feature. Open army create application. After updating to its latest version, that campaign pop-up did not show up for me. I think it has been disabled by default. So first make sure you have calibrated ROG LS gyro based controls click on settings then click on calibration click on gyro then just press the a button to calibrate the controls after doing that just click on game library from here just select the game for which you want to configure the controls i'll do this for resident evil 5 now just press the x button click on gyro now we need to select its behavior Click on the drop down bar. We have access to mouse, left stick and right stick. I will select right stick as I will be using the gyro based controls to look around. Scroll down. Gyro enable button. When you press this button gyro controls will get activated. I have set it to left trigger. With this new update we can assign multiple keys to gyro enable button. I will just select left bumper. So now I just need to press either left bumper or left trigger in order to activate the gyro based controls. As simple as that. There's Chris. I'll just enable army crates performance only. APU is drawing almost 20 watts of power. I'm using the 25 watts manual profile. I can adjust the power values using these sliders. I'll just drop the FPPT value to 15 watts. Tap on apply. Power draw should drop now. Observe the APU watt value. Yeah, I dropped down to 15 watts. Now I'll demonstrate the gyro based controls. So in order to look around, I need to hold either L1 or L2 trigger. First, I'll hold N1. Moving ally. You can see Chris is also <laughs> moving. Trying to look around. Now I'll just hold left trigger. This is for him works very nicely on pc you can even use dualsense controller in order to use the gyro based controls 
have already uploaded a video showcasing the entire process explaining everything so guys that's it with the video i hope you found it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day